Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us under the library. Last week was the end of season three of our main campaign. And we'll be waneless for a few weeks. So we decided to do a short homebrewed campaign that should take three to four weeks, Michael says. That's generally not our MO, but Michael promises three to four weeks. So I think that's what we're going to stick to. It's on you if it doesn't work, Michael. If you enjoy what we do here and would like to support the show, head over to underthelibrary.com slash support. There you will find two links directly to the two things that support us the most. That is the Snakes Oil, our module on DriveThruRPG, and our Patreon. Again, that is underthelibrary.com slash support. And if you like, if you would like to get more story-driven and less rules-heavy in your own RPG check out our other show it is called uh, I choked there for a minute it is called Up Your RPG and can be found wherever you get your podcasts my name's Arthur I'll be playing Dev in this short campaign as I said Wayne's off for a few weeks so we're not going to see him so tonight I am joined by Rick as the captain I am not saying the captain's name I'll let Rick um, introduce himself uh scott is playing rufus chris is tommy emily is amelia and as usual our keeper is sicky pants michael <laughs> once again <laughs> michael the show's yours take it away thanks Art. uh yes this week's episode is brought to you by covid that's the <laughs> illness of the week for me uh no, uh, Under the Library is a tabletop role-playing game uh, set in the Call of Cthulhu universe. It is a horror tabletop role-playing game featuring themes of violence, bodily horror, and who knows what else as we venture out into the open sea. As Art mentioned, we're going to take a little sidestep uh, for these three weeks and do a collaborative module here that we're working on as a group. We'll be able to have that published in the next month. And you'll also find that along with the snake soil. So uh, we're going to get started. And you know you're in the right place if you like your pina colada with a little tentacle in it. And with that, we'll get on to tonight's show. I'll leave Rick to ponder that one for a little bit. No, I just think you missed like a great chance, you know, like, do you like pina colada and getting lost in, I don't know, Bahrain? I don't know. You pick, you pick where you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> really great opportunity. Lost. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you made the right, you made the right choice. Waste an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, before we start, can I actually hear the captain's name? <clears throat> you mean get cut him, cut him, get off? It's G A. Wow, <sighs> I forgot to add bad accents to our disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to mid figure out what that accent could. I don't. I'm trying to go mid Atlantic. It would be good mid mid Atlantic. I'm just trying to like mid Atlantic. Yeah, mid Atlantic is uh, like uh, Kevin Kevin Klein. Anyone who went to Juilliard was taught mid Atlantic accent. Where it's halfway between English and American. Yes, yes, very much so. Chris, I would argue that Rick is still trying to figure out the accent at all. <laughs> Wait, was that your Texas accent? Well, it is early days. <laughs> He'll, he, you know, give him a chance. Yep. It's all true. Yeah, right. it's true. Yes. So for our audience, this the setting is going to take place in the 1970s. Uh, we will descend. We're going to descend into. Uh, the Bahamas, is that correct? Well, we're starting off in Marathon, Florida, in the Keys. Marathon, Florida. All right. So we'll, uh, we're will we going to drop down into Marathon, Florida, in the Keys, in the early 70s. Uh, and I think we'll start with the captain, who that's just how I'm going to refer to him. Me too. And Dev, uh, alongside their uh, sailing vessel, um, as possibly, uh, if y'all want to... Take a few minutes together, and then I am imagining that you'll be approached by somebody pretty soon. 
Yeah. Uh, what is the name of the vessel, Captain? Uh, we, I, we mentioned that, but um, he boat's, can't say boat's it in front of his mom. <laughs> well, uh, yes. The boat's name is what, yes. Uh, the boat's name is yes. That's a terrible name for for a boat. What, <laughs> That's really. What's what's the name? For, so um, I will say that Rick, if you can't say it in front of your mom, you might want to rethink the name. <laughs> we I'll just get, a yeah, thought. Uh, we'll, we'll get the name in a minute. We'll get the name uh, in a minute. But let's we we're, we're going to move forward. We're going to move forward. I'll get to the name in a second. Uh, when your mom leaves. <laughs> <laughs> So for those uh, for those who happen to be uh, um, on the audio only feed, if you would like to see an example of what our boat looks like, um, you can head to the YouTube version of this video, and I will have some some images scrolling through, uh, so you can see some different angles. This this is a fictitious boat. Well, the boat actually exists, but um, you can think of the one that you're seeing on YouTube, but more beat up um more worn this this boat is spectacular and beautiful ours is definitely um a more beat up version of that all right would you just for uh setting purposes yep. how many feet long is the boat um it is apparently 68 feet um it okay. is a motor sailor so um it's sort of a it almost has a tugboat type look to it um, but it's a it's a dual masted sailing vessel um uh, apparently it's a it's a 1938 a uh, custom made boat uh, that was designed to be sailed anywhere in the world comfortably with two people. Um, and uh, let me tell you, I have done a lot of sailing uh, in blue water and you do not need 68 feet. Um, <laughs> this is comfortable for two very, very rich people. Um, but I think that if this boat was beat up, uh, not well cared for, uh, we could have definitely found it in Florida in the mid 70s, which is why I landed on it. Perfect. Yes. And I just love um, the aesthetic. Okay. And and the boat's name is uh is Horus Horus the Elder. Horus? Horus. Why couldn't you say that in front of your mom? There's got to be so, some like if you if you put the emphasis on a different syllable it, it, it it's something else that's my guess. Uh, the the, the oh. truth is I hadn't thought of it and I meant to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Horus the Elder. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Um, and Rick, you are the captain of this vessel, right? <laughs> yes. Do you also own it? Yes. Okay. Uh, out, you own it outright. Outright. It's from my uh, my uncle, my uncle Rufus, uh, who disappeared, and I've been <gasps> I was entrusted with it. Okay. Um, and uh, Dev is your first mate. Um, how long have we been together on this vessel? Mm. How old right. are you? You're, you're in your twenty four. Like yep. I would say probably four years, right? Like okay, yeah. Let's let's go. Th let's go. Uh, let's make it two, if that's all right with you, um, that's because okay. there is we a bit of history that we'll bit. find out about. I didn't know if it was like a few months or a few years. No, no, no. I would say so. Two years. Let's go two years. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so right. this is it's a it, nice sunny day in Marathon. Yep. I just want to put that out there. Cloudless. Yep. Uh, it's late May. Uh, starting to certainly become seasonably warmer and, uh, you know, little flies kind of here and there nipping at you. No seams, um, man. Yeah, the no seams are suck. But, um, but it's, a gore it's a gorgeous day, and you can just see across the water forever. Okay. Um, so and am, I, am I finished with school in May? As a yeah. high school teacher? Yeah, in Florida. Oh, yeah. They in the, let out the, early because of the heat. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> is that a thing? Is that next? Well, they, true. Oh, well okay. they start. They also start early because they of, start uh, early and they season. get out early. You know? yeah. Okay, everybody's done. But so before it gets too hot out. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so I would be sort of puttering around the vessel, um, at, you know, sort of doing a morning routine. Um. So yeah. uh, just, I don't. Do we want to give a little bit of our backstories, or do we want to let that, let that come out organically? Uh, no, plush. let it come out. Yeah, okay. Cool. So I'm just, uh, you know, around making my way around the vessel, making things ship shape, you know, not necessarily, we don't have any, any gigs today that I'm aware of. So, um, I'm just no, sort of no. doing my thing. Yeah. What, that's fair. What's, what's broken on this ship? Because I, I just can't imagine this vessel, uh, <laughs> not having some sort of, wouldn't it be easier to list what isn't broken? <laughs> okay, maybe yeah. So. I mean, I, I think that the, the diesel engine is probably chronically cranky. 
um, you know, nothing it, in like specific, not one thing, yeah. but there's always a little something going wrong with it. It burns oil. It gets smoky. Uh, yep. It definitely gets smoky. Absolutely. Um, and, and I would think that, uh, uh, maybe the, the boom on the mizzen, um, is, is a little glitchy. Sometimes we got to, uh, you know, sort of jury rig it up occasionally. Um, we might have some sales that are, that are not in great shape. He, he asked for like one thing so we can just, we can just, <laughs> all this. and the, you know, the bright work, the, the wood on it, I, I would assume would not be in great shape. Um, uh, so that, you know what, that, that's probably what I'd be doing right now is maybe I'm, I'm, um, I'm, uh, revarnishing um, a bit of bright work yeah. um, up and on I deck. And get off wanted a really, really nice boat. <laughs> yeah, not not in this thing. This this boat. No. So <laughs> just just a little side story. Um, the the boat that I that I found for this it, it, this thing is currently for sale for two point six million dollars. Oh wow! <laughs> right, it's a yeah. Beautiful, this beautiful is boat. Oh, this wow. is one hell of a vessel. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty spectacular. So I would uh I would uh I would wake up probably I don't know about ten. Uh, a little bit later, I'm sure a couple hours passed you, and I like, should I just stop? I'm just gonna stop early. Should I just stop early? <laughs> this is like a fourth accent. <laughs> just I'm let him go. Them out, that's great. Right? I'm just it's trying them out. We're just we're rotating through. You go for it. You go for it. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So I'd wake up uh, maybe around ten, and then uh, 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 make my way uh, out onto the deck, and I'd say, uh, "Dev, uh, uh, yep. uh, how's uh, how's the morning treating you?" Yep. Morning, Captain. So that's, that's Australian. It is. <laughs> hey, Dave, I was the morning drinking you. Uh, I love that you pointed it out. <laughs> so good. Well, he could be Australian. Sure, sure. Uh, oh, morning, oh, Captain. Excuse me. Hello. Oh. Excuse me. And I'm, I'm sort of uh, wiping my eyes. Hi, sort of, good morning. A cup of Hello. coffee. And I'm handing a, a, a cup of coffee to Dev. Are you, uh, Dev. Uh, are you thanks, for Captain. charter? <clears throat> uh, are you, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are. We're, we're uh, the finest charting uh, vessel. Uh, um, can you just stand um, out of the sun? <laughs> Amelia, he, he seems like he's hung over or something. Uh, Captain, do you, do you want me to talk to him? Maybe we should look for a different boat. Yeah, uh, yeah Dev, Dev, go see And we'll just want. start to I, turn I, yeah. and walk away. All right, yeah, De- Devil, Devil come walking up. Oh, hey, good morning. Um, and he's, uh, you know, 70s. Um, so he's a pretty fit dude, uh, you know, wearing the, the shorts that were back then uncomfortably short. Short shorts. Pro- probably <laughs> yeah, pro- probably a tank top. Short shorts. Um, but like, <laughs> they're like the khaki version. Um, and he's got like a belt. And um, uh, like a uh, one of those, one of those knives in the sheath kind of thing, you know, very sailing variety, yep. um, and a you know probably a tie dyed tank top, um, long hair and a ponytail, but but with a uh, one of the like leather straps around the forehead kind of thing. You're a little hippie ish. Oh, awesome. Okay, he looks like he knows hey, what he's doing. Hey, folks, morning. Uh, what, what can I help you with? Well, I wanted a charter. Hey, but- I just want to let you guys know my my associate here. His name's Dev, and um, he should be able to help you out. I've got to take care of something on uh, the boat. <laughs> and I, it, you, I don't know if you see this, but Dev kind of cringes <laughs> as, as he's coming toward you. Um, so, uh, hey, good morning. Uh, what, what can I help you with? As I said, we need a charter, but you know, we need a boat we can trust. Oh, uh, ma'am, this boat is spectacular. Uh, and a crew we can she, trust. She might be m- not much to look at, but uh, she is gorgeous and sails like a dream. My friend well, Tommy's not very comfortable on the water. Okay. Okay. This is going to yeah. be his first time. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Uh, good to meet you, Tommy. I'm Dev. And he put a hand out. I hey. remember my first time. Hi, Dev. Hi, Dev. I... I, I, Dev. I Dev, how long have you known your your captain? He seems a little, uh, okay. I don't know, a little wobbly on his leg. How are we going to yeah, end up getting was... onto the ship? At he which was... point, you guys hear a crash as he sort of is like tied up in like, some of the rigging. And you're he's sabotaging. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I is think this an we example should take of our money somewhere else. 
<laughs> well, you know, ma'am, I don't think you're going to find another vessel anywhere near this, especially not this time of year. A lot of the folks have have gone for the slow season. Slow season started, uh, you know, a few weeks ago. Uh, so there's not much left. Um, and, and really, if everyone else was here, I, I don't think you'd find a better sailing vessel. Well, Dad, you talk been... about the slow season? <laughs> yes, Captain. Thank you. Uh, How's your navigation? Because I have some very specific coordinates I need to reach. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I, I've been doing this since I was a toddler, uh, and I've, I've been full time uh, since high school. So uh, this is all I do. Where, where are you looking and to go? You also Just dive quickly as you guys uh, do, are talking. Yeah. Not interrupt, but as you guys are talking, you're going to see someone walking up, sort of slowly, looking around, and he's got a big steamer trunk behind him. <laughs> okay. So keep going. Okay. 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 So uh, what kind, ask him what kind of safety features the ship has. Oh, we've, we've got all the normal stuff. We we have uh, our, you see our, uh, our dinghy slash lifeboat there slash fishing boat. Uh, that, that kid's super stable. Uh, we've got all the, uh, the Coast Guard uh, flotation devices. Um, yep. Anything you need. You'd hear, Light, you'd hear a safety large lines all the way off. around the boat. You'd hear a large horn go off and you'd hear a shit son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's just no way you'll ever get me into a dinghy. Well, that's fine. You're welcome to stay stay aboard the ship. That's fine. You, bigger, you know, you gotta bigger, gotta get bigger, used to it. I understand. Bigger, bigger the ship, the better. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and you certainly won't find any sailing vessels for charter uh, bigger than this one. She's sixty eight feet stem to stern. All right. But so at this point, I've probably made it up, and I'm standing awkwardly close to you guys, and it got a huge grin on my face. But I'm I'm not interrupting. But I'm just sort of rocking back and forth on my heels and i'm just smiling at you all okay and let's uh, dev would say oh so uh so there's three of you is there, are there any more coming uh no i don't know him but i just need to know that i can oh, sure. hire you to dive for me when we get to my coordinates because i can't i can't ah, okay um so how, how deep are we talking what uh how long would i need well, to be I don't down know. i don't know uh, interesting uh where are these coordinates I can. I have them written down. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll have to plot them. them. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know roughly where they are? Uh, east of Bermuda. Bermuda. No, 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 no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Bermuda's very far. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I don't okay. know. I thought you said we were going to Bermuda. No. Bahamas. Deeper? Bahamas. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 um, okay. Bermuda, the Cape, Bahamas, Cape Horn. Does that Bahamas, ring a bell? I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. It's easy to mix up those <laughs> islands. It's, it's gonna be. This is not my area of research. Of Turks. But yeah, Wait. she she would she would be oh, able to tell you it's gonna on. be east of Turks. So Turks and Caicos are well east of the Bahamas. Just so oh, you know. Good. Um, so I would say Still if you're, if you're research, looking though. for some place sort of near in the Bahamas, maybe Exumas. Or you could go, if you want to go north, you could go San Salvador. Um, you could go, Chub Key is a good one because that's sort of in between Bimini, which is the yeah, first I set, and the Chub Exumas, Key. which is further south. I love the sound are, of Exumas. Are you, are you trying, wait, I, I'm just questioning, are you retconning me or are you I'm retconning talk you. you. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, I mean, we can we can move the coordinates, the the, the location of the coordinates. I mean, actually, matter. if we go like halfway down the Exumas, that's pretty cool because it there's some like it, you know just deserted islands down there. Um, it's quite spectacular. Well, wherever the coordinates are that yep. the keeper's going to give me, that's yep. where I need to go. Okay, <laughs> and do you so do you, Amelia, actually know relatively where they are? No. Okay, you have no Generally. idea. Would you know that they were I mean, in the like, Bahamas? I looked it up on a map. Okay, so you would know that they were in the Bahamas. Yeah, she Vaguely. she knows the area. Yeah, yeah. Of the, okay, she would know the area of the water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if you tell me Bahamas, I would say, oh, okay. Uh, so uh, more than likely, that would be on the Bahama Bank, which is relatively shallow. So, uh, but that's a pretty far trip. Um, we're, we're talking probably four days down and back if we go nonstop. Uh, you know, more like a week if we take our time. Uh, that, okay. That's a, that's a pretty significant trip. Is is that really what you're looking to do? That's I what thought, I need to do. What? 
Oh, oh Tommy, God. it'll be fine. No, it'll I thought it was only going to be a couple days. And my ears a perk days up and when, a couple when, more days. When you guys say this, um, and I'm going to say, wait, wait, for a week, a week out on the water fishing. That's remarkable. We certainly could do some fishing. Are, are, are you here to, to do some fishing, sir? I have never fished and I've always wanted to always my whole life and i've been fishing sort of but not really and i'm hoping now hear me out that we can go get on a boat a big miraculous boat beautiful filled with people (laughs) filled with things that you do on the water and i've got everything i have packed for a trip and you guys are looking at me and i have uh, like a poncho, a rainbow colored poncho on woven. I have white long pants that flare out in bell bottoms, and I have a nice sort of tight shirt. And I am just, I'm sort of tanned, and I've got like wonderful hair, like just sort of fly back David Cassidy kind of hair. Um, and I'm just like, and this is, this would be a wonderful opportunity for me to really just use everything that I've learned and, and just become an outdoorsman. And so, yes, if you go somewhere and it's a week of fishing and just roughing it, I'm your man. I'll be your crew. Uh, okay. That, that sounds wonderful. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to talk to the captain um, about how much um, he would want to charge for this kind of a trip. So you're saying that we need to go and I'll have to look up your coordinates to know uh, where we're headed. Um, but I know we're in the Bahamas somewhere um, I'll have to take a look at that. Um, so could you, uh, just write the, the coordinates down for me and, and, uh, yeah, hand absolutely. those over and then I'll go talk to the captain and, uh, we can, uh, get you a quote together. How, how does that sound? Scribble them on a little piece of paper that will go into the zoom chat. Excellent. Um, and, um, Michael, have the coordinates changed? Yeah. Or are the ones we had this, the, okay. Yeah. No, they're not. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pull up some new ones, but I don't think they're that okay. critical to yeah. the story. So yep. I'll just okay. Um, and um, we'll we'll need a, a few hours at least to uh, to provision for that long a trip. Um, so you know, so you said it was like ten o'clock in the morning. Is that what we said? Uh, so we could probably get underway after lunch, maybe one two o'clock, um, if the the quote um, is acceptable to you. Can you get us the quote before we absolutely? Go to pack? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you do you want do you mind just uh, hanging out, chilling out for a few minutes? No problem. Okay. We'll be here. Okay. I'll, I'll be I'll be back in a few, um, and I'll, I'll head back aboard and and go down below and chat with uh, and with as Captain. soon as you head aboard, I pull my steamer trunk and I follow right behind you. And I say, what a remarkable opportunity. I couldn't be more excited. And I'm just, boom, 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 so sort of, and you can hear clinking in the thing. And I'm like, I've never been on a boat. This is remarkable. So you're just jumping right on the boat? Right behind you. Okay. Like just uh, so nowhere I'll, I'll to st- stop and I'll say, uh, sir, it, lovely to have you aboard. Um, just a, couldn't uh, be more excited. Just a tip. I, I reach out my hand. Uh-huh. And I'm like, so Rufus Wondernutter, fantastic to make your acquaintance. Uh, Dev, n- nice to meet you, sir. Great great to meet you. Glad to have you aboard. Um, sir, just a, a, a tip for future, uh, all of your future sailing endeavors. You generally ask permission before getting on somebody else's boat. <gasps> Did I do a faux pas? It's fine. I understand. <laughs> you didn't know. But Did welcome I- aboard. Why don't you hang out here? And I, I, I um, salute you and I'm like, Captain, I am... Oh, I'm not. So I'm not sorry. the captain. I, I am not the captain. Um, so I, I'm going to go talk to the captain. You hang out here. Make yourself at home. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, um, and I'll I'll go down below and and uh, find the captain. Oh, he's and, topside puking over the side. No, I'm joking. no, no. He he he's gone downside. And as you come down, you would hear. Uh, we don't hear that. You don't. Oh, no. it's the sound of just. Uh, the glass with ice in it and okay. liquid stirring okay. around. Excellent. Um, hey, Captain. Um, w- oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We, we got these yeah. these folks up here. They they want to go to uh, to the Bahamas. Um, I haven't plotted where, where they're looking to go yet, but um, th- th- that woman wants to go to a specific <sighs> coordinate. She wants to hire m- me to dive for her, find something, Whoa. 
and then take him back. I mean, we're talking a good week's charter here with uh with a commission dive. Um, uh, how much do you think we should charge? It's three, and there's some other guy who wants to come with us. He's well, not with uh, those two. It's weird. Oh, so there's three people who want to go on this three, trip. Three, but two pair or a pair, and then a, a lone ranger. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. What um, what, what are they wearing? Uh, well, one of them's got a giant trunk, like some old school thing. Looks like from from the twenties. Um, oh. and he's wearing a big poncho and. Uh, you know, the white other pants. Two didn't describe ourselves. No, I, yeah. <laughs> so, I, why don't you guys describe yourself, and I'll, yeah. I'll just, you know, okay. that's what I'll pass along. So Amelia yeah. is very short and a little stumpy, and she has very big glasses, and she is not dressed for sailing. She's wearing pants with uh, very clear creases in the front and a button down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm wearing uh, a somewhat. Hawaiian-y, tropical-looking shirt, uh, a pair of shorts, but not the crazy 70s short shorts. More, let's say I'm wearing cut-off jeans. Okay, that's a that's a horrible look. Yep. <laughs> and I'm 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 wearing uh, sandals with uh, black business socks. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Uh, so I, I describe that to you, Rick. Mm. Um, they might have a little on them. Um, and then what about uh, what about the the other guy with the the trunk? Was he wearing anything um, you know fancy or jazz? What was in the trunk or anything about that? There? I, I didn't ask what was in the trunk, but I heard it jingling like there's <laughs> stuff in there, like oh, not it, just clothes. It, it sounded like glass to you. Oh, okay, yeah, it sounded like there's glass in there. Oh, valuable! So we need to add a valuables uh, surcharge uh, for purposes uh, therein. How about for the uh, two of them? We'll, we'll we'll start we'll say 1400 but we'll knock it down to a grand if uh you know as a pair discount that includes the all expenses diving promotion that we're running right now Is that okay. sound good yeah and that is with food right uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah food okay. yeah we'll 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 we'll, we'll load up <laughs> okay and uh, then, so uh, do you want to go talk to them about money and I'll I'll uh, I'll plot a course here and make sure that uh uh you know that we're within range uh sure sure and he's he's okay. sort of half of his collar is up and he sort of folds that down and he goes over to a pile of clothes and he sort of pulls out like a tie that's been pre-tied and he sort of puts it on and you know pulls it up and uh, dusts himself off and he puts on like a little sort of like sailing like a little like the jacket or something over him like just all white and uh but it's kind of captain's wrinkled hat. if you look close yeah and a little captain's hat that he sort of tries to bend in the opposite direction to unfold and uh, pops it out, you know, because it's been sort of compressed and puts it on. All right. Uh, and then he takes a, a splash of sort of water from a base and splashes it on himself. And says, All right. I think I'm good. Uh, did you catch their names there, Dev? Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, Amelia. I don't. Did I meet Tommy? Yeah, I did. Uh, so it's Amelia, Tommy uh, on the uh, on the dock and the guy who's on the boat already yeah, is yeah. Rufus. Oh, yeah, I'm you're muted. muted. Yeah. Uh, Ru- Rufus? Yeah. What does he look like? You know what? It's fine. I, I um I'll take care of this. He you, he kind of looks like it. he looks like Cassidy. You you you, you, you plot. I, I I gotta go talk to them. Okay. All right. and, and he'll and I'll and I'll move quicker than you may have seen uh, okay. prior. <laughs> Weird. And, and uh get to the side of the boat. And I presume the first person I would see is you, Rufus, right? Yeah. When you, you when you get up there, I have uh, what's it called? Like one of the the life vests, and mm-hmm. I'm just I'm sort of examining it really closely, and I'm sort of holding it up, and I'm sort of doing this with the straps, and and I'm just fascinated by the whole thing. And I and are you facing towards or away from me? I'd be facing towards you. I mean, you'd you'd see me. Yeah. All right. And so I guess. I, I would like to think that you'd have the life vest in front of your face as you're looking at it. And then as you put it down, you would see sure. the like smile and like eyebrows up look of the captain um, suddenly just kind of like drop and just uh, goes into sort of a like slightly pursed lips, sort of a, oh, well, uh, w- w- welcome. I heard your name's uh, R- Rufus. Captain. Ca- oh, it's a fascinating to meet you. And I, I set this down and I walk over and, and, I'm still like my, my trunk is sort of behind me now and I'm letting it sit there and I have a hand out and I'm like, 
it's wonderful to meet you, Captain Rufus Wondernutter, Rufus Wondernutter. It's it's been a dream of mine to go fishing, and and I'm finally going to do it. And I met that remarkable fellow, Dev, and he said that you'd be taking me for a week sail, and, and you teach me to fish, and I couldn't be more excited. Well, we can certainly arrange that, uh, Rufus, and I'll take your hand and give you a sort of a, a quick but firm shake and sort of drop it down and say, uh, but it comes down to, uh, well, how much do you want? We have different... Um, uh, package deals here you know we've got the the fishing and uh, teaching package uh, where you'll get one-on-one -on -one, uh fishing experience with wonderful uh, yeah yeah that's now that comes at a, at a premium you know mm, and uh, what is the number so if you just want a charter for a week it'd, it'd be probably well you look like a nice guy we'll say we'll say f 400 for the week but if you want the full package, it's going to be seven. But that comes with one-on-one -on -one teaching from folks that have been fishing with a guaranteed uh, uh, bluefin. Let me tell you. No. What am I thinking? Uh, how about how about mahi? Thank you. Guaranteed mahi. Mahi. That sounds wonderful. Seven hundred, and I right out of my pocket. And I and hit you see, and you see, and you see, Captain Captain Get Off go fuck. <laughs> I, I should have said two grand <laughs> i hand you 700 dollars, and i'm like what a remarkable bargain captain if we catch a fish and if that bet is comfortable and you can show me how to do some stuff by at the end of this week you just wait and see what i'll give you you're gonna be so happy you brought me on this boat and like i said to dev i'm sorry i just came right on I committed such a faux pas, and I apologize. I'm going to learn how to be a seaman. I'm going to be the best seaman you've ever seen. Uh, well, By the well, time I... I'm done, you are going <laughs> to remark, Rufus Wondernutter is the best seaman. <laughs> You're gonna be Captain. He couldn't do oh, it. Hi. He couldn't do it. Oh. <laughs> if you had deadpanned it, I, I'd have given you props. Yeah, <laughs> he couldn't do it. He's such a child. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll slap oh, you on the so back, funny. Rufus. I was, <laughs> he's still laughing. I was like, <laughs> he had to mute. <laughs> so for those not watching the video, <laughs> Scott had to mute himself and is red faced, <laughs> cackling. <laughs> it's got broken self basically yep. <laughs> such an idiot all right well i, so I right. slap you let's slap rufus on the back and i say rufus uh you're gonna be get off semen by the end of this trip that's for sure and um <laughs> and uh and i'll uh and i'll say um uh but we'll make sure we get you taken <laughs> care of uh but let me tell you any more faux pas and there is a bit of a fine that comes with that here on the boat Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. I promise I'll do my best. That's fine. We just try and keep things, you know, right proper here. Keep the ship flowing. Uh, so you can go ahead on down and devil to uh, direct you to uh, your, your, your cabin. Uh, let me handle these other two uh, who will be joining us for the trip. Okay. And I'll head out. I really, I've been working on that line and I was so excited. <laughs> and, I get through it. and so I'll, I'll hop off the boat. I walk over to uh, Amelia and Tommy. I say, "I, I hear you two are uh, uh, looking for a little, little diving trip. Uh, it is a uh, Captain uh, Get Off. Nice to meet you both." My name is Doctor Palmer. Doctor Palmer. Well, I, 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 I'm a historian. It's a fancy. Oh, I like history too, but I'm just Tommy. Huh. A, 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 a medical doctor historian. I am just fathomed. I'm not by a this. medical doctor. Oh, I, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I teach I, at a university. I'm uh, a professor. All right. I see. I see. Professor Palmer. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Dr. Uh, well, we're, Palmer. Dr. Palmer. <laughs> Uh, and I'll turn Professor to Doctor. and I'll turn to the, your friend and I'll say, uh, and you must also be a professor. What's your name? Uh, no, I, I'm just Tommy. I just said I'm, you know, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Dapson. Nice to meet you. Reach out. Yep, I say like the shorts. Um, oh, it helps on yeah, the hot thanks. days. I, yeah, I made them myself. I don't <laughs> usually wear shorts, but I had a pair of old jeans. And I figured it's going to get hot. So, uh, yeah, I took the scissors and, you know, I'm set. I mean, I sort of figured that. Uh, anyways. All right. So, uh, 
So you two are interested on a in a charter journey with some diving, is that right? Well, I won't be diving, but your man Dev said that he could dive. Uh, you want for to employ me. some diving on top of your uh, week, week journey out. There's uh, no way in hell I'll be diving. I'm not even going into the water. I see. I see. Well, uh, but you're you're going to be on board and for room and board and uh, uh, you know I think you know there's two of you, so we can do a little package deal for you here. Uh, we'll say uh, between that and the diving expenses, there's liabilities for sending uh, Dev and myself, um, you know, underwater and depending on the type of diving, uh, which we would need to elucidate a bit if it's you know under certain circumstances, uh, it'll be uh, probably about fourteen fourteen hundred for the two of you. Yeah. That okay, sounds so- very high. Yeah, you just said uh, to Rufus. Uh, no, we didn't be... hear what he said to Rufus. Are you sure? We were right near him, weren't we? Rufus was on the boat and we were on the do- uh, sure. dock. Dock. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought there was just a short gang blank. Or no, I didn't, I didn't think you had heard for what it's but worth. But you know, oh, okay. I'd been doing some research. And from what I can tell, about $40 a day is standard. Well, forty dollars a day for uh, your standard boats and commission, but this is Horace the Elder, and you're dealing with someone who's been on the seas for uh, cumulatively between the two of us, you know, uh, almost almost seventy years. So uh, there's a lot of experience here, making sure you're well taken care of. So two of us, seven days. I'll give yeah. you six hundred. Well, but see, that's 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 just for being on a boat. Uh, you've got fuel surcharges, which have been going up. Uh, maintenance fees. There's the insurance costs. So you, I think, I think what you're looking at is just the basic. Uh, you're on the water for a day, uh, but when you're talking about the high end cuisine, you're going to be receiving here uh, luxury accommodations with attentive service and professional diving expenses. Uh, that's that does that does come with a premium here. Well, a I, I don't, I don't premium? think we're going to have to look for another boat. Yeah, I think I've we're being is, taken advantage of. All right, all right. How, set, about, how about twelve hundred? How about twelve hundred? I set aside four hundred for me. Uh, Amelia is. I mean, she's uh, the diving is all about her. The diving is me. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. I'm a nice guy. You look like you are very Im- interested in coming out. And unfortunately, I don't think you're going to find any other boats. So I'm trying to work with you here. How about I, I already lowered it to 12. I grand. I will. I, I, a grand will cover the both of you. That's 500 and 500. Uh, that seems uh, 400 and 600. But yeah, we'll do 400 and 600 since I'm paying for the diving. Tommy's that not responsible fun- for that. That sounds wonderful. And, and is that in cash? Uh, yeah, I've got cash. It can be. That sounds wonderful. I would appreciate that. You know, there's there's so much to do here with the banks. Uh, it's just much easier. At this point, um, Dev's going to come walking up from from down below, um, having looked up the the coordinates, um, <clears throat> and uh, he's going to say, "Okay, so it uh, looks like we're looking at a seven to eight day round trip, assuming it's just a, a quick stop at your coordinates to you know a few hours for diving. Um, that'll give us." A stop at Bimini, a stop at Chub Key, and then um, a day or two at your location, and then same thing on the on the trip back. Um, so we're looking at seven to eight days, depending on weather, and and you know if we decide to to stay an extra day at, at one of the anchorages. That sounds fantastic. Thank you, Deb. Uh, and, this and is at Amelia this point, as Tommy. you guys are having this conversation, just yeah. so you know. I went down, I went to the room you sent me to or whatever, and now I'm coming back upstairs and I have a glass and it's filled with, you can, it's visibly filled with, with sort of a, a, a a drink. So, and I'm just going to come sort of sauntering up to you guys and I'm sort of swirling it around. Um, Rufus, what, what sort of drink do you have? There, Michael, you're muted. I sorry. Are, are you talking about like a hot, like a a martini glass or like a? I don't know what I don't because I don't know how. Like, what would a a, a gimlet be served in? What is it's, a yeah, gimlet? It's like a like a vodka gimlet or a gin gimlet. It's yeah. ju- it was just a seventies drink. You, yeah, you could just do it. You could just do it in like a a normal kind of cocktail glass. So. Yeah, so it's okay. just a normal cocktail glass. Okay. And I and will I'm, just mention. Sorry. No, no, please. That while Dev was giving these this information, I was looking back and forth between him and the captain and just looking very skeptically at the captain. 
Uh, so a, a gimlet glass is a wide, um, rounded bottom stemmed glass. Oh, oh, yeah. perfect. Okay. So I've got one of those, and I've, I'm assuming you hold it sort of cupped, right? And so I'm sort of swirling it around. And so you, the captain in particular, if you're half the person I think you are, is going to hear that clinking ice and mm-hmm. know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, no, he you've got his attention. And so he uh, you see him smile and he he, he gives uh, both uh, uh, Dr. Palmer and Tommy a, uh, a quick nod. And he says, uh, uh, Dev, Dev will be happy to uh, take you to your rooms. I, uh, I need to make sure we have everything uh, properly uh, prepared, all the permits. And uh, there's a lot of uh, 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 paperwork that needs to be accomplished before we head out. And I'll hop on board and I'll go over to you, Rufus, and put my arm around you and I say, Rufus, you see, uh, on this ship, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's actually a, a tradition that, uh, uh, the first drink is shared between, uh, the, the, uh, the, oh, the oh, patron oh. and the captain. Are you a Gimlet fan? I'm, I'm a, I'm a vodka Gimlet fan. I used to drink gin Gimlets. I found them to be a bit overwhelming. The vodka just, it's a, it's a more refined drink for my palate. Right, Would you we'll- like one? We'll cut the we'll cut the scene on that note with the the captain and Rufus sharing this gimlet as they as they head down into the boat. And then I think it's probably unless there's anything kind of important in this moment for any characters to wrap up, I think we can probably time dash to getting on the water. Unless uh Chris, is there anything Tommy needs to work through in this moment or anything important that we'd need to see? No, I don't think so. Other than he would have to go get additional clothes because I don't think right. he was prepared for that long of a journey. Right. And that's <laughs> why I'm I'm just saying we'll time dash that because we don't need to role play like getting yeah, every little clothes thing. shopping. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. is there is there anything that uh Tommy or Amelia you wanna uh anything important that you are packing up that we need to know about before the time dash? Um, um and and it can be revealed later, but I'm just saying, is there anything that you wanted as like some foreshadowing to be packed? Just a lot, I have a lot of, of paperwork. Okay. A lot of anti nausea medicine. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay. Um so uh let's take a quick break here and then we'll resume on the other side of the break on the water. Okay, that sounds good. Uh right. we'll take five and see everybody on the other side. We are back from break. Michael, back to you. All right, so we are going to kind of fast track off the docks. We'll assume that Tommy and Amelia are all packed up. and Dr. In, Palmer. Sorry, Dr. Palmer and Tommy are all packed up and in their stateroom. How many rooms are on this boat? Just curious. We're starting to get a little tight in the quarters here. Yeah, right? so um, I actually haven't mapped out the um, below decks. Uh, there are photos, so I'll, I'll put it together and put it into a map for next time, but... Um, I would assume that captain's quarters is aft and then okay. forward. There's probably two cabins is my guess. Yeah. Um, so that will, Oh no, three. Oh, okay. Three. So that would put the three guests up front and then dev I'm thinking will move to a hammock in, um, in the pilot house. Okay. Yeah. That's um, what I would, that's what I was thinking would make sense for dev. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So y'all are uh, bouncing along the opened water, and uh, Tommy, I do mean bouncing. And, <sighs> and uh, Rufus, I imagine you just standing on deck, smiling ear to ear with your gimlet sloshing all over the Couldn't damn place. Couldn't be happier, and I'm I'm actually surprisingly not spilling much because I am just moving like. Oh. In a weird way, I'm really just moving with the water, and then every once in a while, just sort of downing a little bit. So, but I'm I'm as happy as can be. Okay, and we're not going to hit a ton of open water until probably the other side of the Bahamas. Does that make sense, Art? Uh, no, it's actually that. all open water as soon as we leave Marathon. <laughs> it's oh, is it? straight. Uh, it's oh, yeah. it is just open sea until you get to Bimini. Oh, okay, nice. Yep. Um, right. and, and I am pale we would, and sweating. And we would have um, lines out. Um, we'd be fishing the whole way. Okay. Um, you know, I, I know the one time I made that trip, um, we did catch tuna. 
um, with one line out, but uh, you know, that's totally up to you if we're lucky enough or not. I think that that's, I don't know if this is on the captain's luck or if this is on Rufus's luck here on the way to the Bahamas. Mm, that um, would make sense. I, and the other thing I would add is Dramamine was invented or at least discovered to help with nausea in the 1940s. Oh, nice. And so whether or not we would have some, I guess I would presume so for a child. He said he, said he, he, said he packed yeah, anti-nausea perfect. medication. Um, it. Uh, and Art, how many days are we talking from Marathon to the Bahamas? I mean, I, I don't actually know from Marathon. From Miami to Bimini for us, and we were going super slow, it was like 12 hours. Oh, that's um, So, okay. you know, I, I would think this would be a one night um, to Bimini. Yeah. I, I was thinking Marathon to Bimini, um, one leg, Bimini to Chubb, another leg, um, and then probably chubb to nassau or we could just really bypass nassau oh actually chubb to nassau is a really long one doesn't matter we can kind of fake it a little bit okay um so we can call it chubb to to final destination if you want we just bypass Perfect. nassau all right so you have a we'll, we'll even fast track it a little bit there um you, you you maybe wait till the next day to actually get on the water you'll get a nice early morning start the winds at your back you have a beautiful day of sailing. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, except for you, Tommy. Um, you're just trying to like not puke over the side. Um, and and it's a fairly uneventful day. You have poles out in the water. Uh, Captain, get off. Uh, make a luck roll. I made a. Let me see here. Oh wow! No. No. Nobody says that. He's gone. Right. He's gone from Irish to New York to <laughs> Irish pseudo pirate. Yes, I made it. I made it barely, but I made it. Okay. And uh, do I get a luck roll as well or not? Um, I, I was sure. Go ahead. <laughs> I got a four. Oh my god! Wow. All right, so... Uh, and my luck are... is low. I only have a 25 for my luck, so... <laughs> oh, my God. So y'all are probably a couple hours away from Bimini, and, um, Captain, you're just looking over at Rufus and thinking, oh, my God, this guy is never going to catch anything, right? Um, Dev and I probably have a side bet on it, to be honest with you. That, that seems that seems likely and um it, it the looking by at him you're like no matter how many times i he's not going to be able to reel in a damn thing and about that time rufus your pole bends almost in half i mean you're holding on for whoa, dear life whoa, and whoa, dev whoa. you you hear the line <laughs> go right out <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Uh, oh, Deb, yell Deb, fish on and uh, drop sail. Uh, we'd probably be motor sailing because uh, we'd be going against the the wind heading out. Okay. Um, okay. But we'd have sails up really more f- as much for show and for stability as anything. So drop sails, drop the motor down to neutral. Um, and I- I'd go help him, you know, <laughs> like hold on for him and <laughs> talk him through it. And I'm, I'm, you know, not for nothing, but you see, obviously zero skill. Okay. Like, m- more enthusiasm than maybe you've ever seen before. Okay. And I'm just like, whoa, my, this is the most remarkable thing I've ever done. And I'm, you know, I'm, whoa, like, and I'm, you know, I keep putting it back in the the pole holder for a second, yeah, and I'm yeah. sort of looking around, oh, but I still keep going, and so. <laughs> Unless something happens, like he's just he'll he'll stay in it the entire time, okay, and just the whole time talking nonsense. This is the most <laughs> remarkable thing. This is we're going to be eating, Captain. You promised only seven hundred dollars, and I'm catching a fish. This is the most remarkable. It's just on and on and on. <laughs> and and as you slow down the boat, right, like a huge splash comes up and I mean, just nails Rufus in the face and he's just like <laughs> laughing into it too. Oh, not he's just loving- that, like if the water gets me, I'm doing like a full like head flip back and my hair like 
like shoot behind me <laughs> and then I'm going to sort of lie and main it out. I'm going to be like, the water is the best place in the world. Oh, all right. And um, um, he, he's reeling in and y'all see this beautiful tuna, right? And uh, Tommy, are you are you on your legs at this point? I'm below decks. You're below deck. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Poor Tommy. Oh, that's that's the worst place you could be. It is Tommy. the worst place yeah, you could be. We would have know. told you to come up at some point. Yeah, for what it's worth. I, I keep trying to, and then I I see the open <clears throat> water, and that makes me really shaky. Okay, and, so it's more uh, about yeah, I'll, fear I'll than seasickness. Yes. Yeah, okay. Very much so. That's fine. Yeah. And Doctor Palmer, what are you doing? I'm below as well. I'm in my cabin with papers spread out all around okay. me and a couple of books open. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's just the three of you then. Uh, you see, uh, Dev, you see this beautiful tuna swim by uh, on the line, and mm -hmm. uh, eventually y'all are able to um, yeah, you, gaff you it. Grab, you gaff it and, and land it. And oh, Wait. Like, so when you gaff it, it's the first time you notice Rufus is just like, oh, oh. No, oh. it doesn't. I, I don't gaff it like um, uh, like through flesh. Um, it goes inside the gills. Oh, good. So okay. that you can pick You're it right up. Yep. I thought you were like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No. Um, although when it gets on board. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was going to say. So there's this huge, I, let's say, I mean, it takes all your strength. Let's say, call it 28. 30 sure. pounds is yep. that yeah is that all right so you land this 28 30 pound tuna into the boat it's flopping all over who who does it is it me or or, or no, no, no so so when it lands i mean i would i would come oh, okay oh no please go ahead go ahead so no, we, I mean, we so would we ahead. would have a little mini bat yeah i, I bat i also have brass knuckles so I would come oh, over. Weird. That's super <laughs> weird, dude. And so and I'm so the fish is on the deck. And I'm like, I'm just I've got like my hands sort of gripped together in front of me. And I'm just staring at this fish. And I'm just like so enamored that I just pulled this thing in that I'm just thinking about myself and my connection to the fish and how just primal and wonderful this is. And then Captain jumps in and beats the crap out of it with his fists. <laughs> he bloodies the head of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then and then with tuna, the worst part is, I don't know if you guys know this. Um, with tuna, you've got to bleed him. I thought oh, that, that was yeah. a thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, so we would we would hang it by the tail and Okay, so but you're gonna eat really well tonight, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah. <laughs> when I see this, I'm like, um, mm -mm. I, I, I'll, I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> uh, you okay there, Rufus? <laughs> over, the side, over the side of the boat. <laughs> Can, does Does any get into the boat, Rufus? Oh no, no. I'm 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 careful. I mean, I. Unless, unless you want me to roll for it, but no, I mean, I, I would I, be very conscientious uh -huh. about getting over the side of the boat, and I'm like, and would you hear me going, faux pas, faux pas. All right, um, oh, the enthusiasm. So, Dev, you'll be, I assume, cleaning this fish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, once we get back underway. Um, yeah. Yep. And I, yeah, okay. I would just, um, I would gut it, fillet it, and then freeze a bunch of it, um, and then the rest would go in the fridge for uh, for dinner tonight. Okay. And Dev and Captain each roll a D one hundred. Tell me what you get. Arts first ninety five tonight. Oh, ninety. Okay. Uh, then Dev, you're gonna owe uh, Captain. Uh, I don't know, whatever y'all put on it, five bucks. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whether or not he catch a fish. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I think something like that, plus like a shot yeah. or two. Sure. Right. Yeah. Like who gets to, who who takes watch overnight or something. That seems appropriate. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah. in, just really quickly, a, after obviously I'm going to clean my myself up, go get some seltzer water. I've got my kind of thing and I'm just gurgling and, and, <laughs> 
cleaning out. And then I'm going to come up and Dev, the whole time you're cleaning the fish, Mm -hmm. I'm standing back. And again, you hear the gimlet glass because I'm just trying to settle my nerves a bit. And I'm like, just, just tell me what you're doing. Tell me the next step. And I'm sort of, as you're doing it, I'm trying to study and learn this process. Mm -hmm. But every time you turn around and look, you can see that I'm sort of doing this. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like not really looking, <laughs> just trying to. And I'm like, Dev, have you ever had sashimi? Oh, of course. Yeah, that's that's. It. We can have some right now if you want. Would it be possible? Absolutely. Here, and I'll cut off some and hand it to him. My God! And this is this is the moment. This is what he's why he wanted to do this. He has been eating sushi his entire life. He's, you know, this is New York City. He lives in New York City. And this is, you don't have this, I think, in a lot of the country yet Mm -hmm. in the 70s. But but in New York, you do. And so he just feels like he is now part of the world in a way that he had never anticipated. So you see him and he has just got an, you know, just almost orgasmic face. I mean, he is just as happy as you've ever seen a person. You've seen his O face at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, make a make a pal roll <laughs> to see if he actually does. <laughs> God. I don't know. Oh, I was, I was... oh God! <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> that would I would I wouldn't expect that. Uh, I missed it. Just okay. Barely. Perfect. No, yeah, no, just... that's actually what you wanted to do. So okay. add six points to your pal. Hmm. Oh, well. oh. Hmm. All right. That should be foreshadowing for how bad this is going to get. Yep. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> yeah. If he's being that nice to us now. Yeah. No All shit. right. Um, so it, y'all head back into, or y- y'all head into Bimini that night. You'll mm-hmm. dock in Bimini. Uh, this will be one of two stops. Your next stop will be in Chubb. Uh, so you can resupply here, but they're knowing that you're going to be in Chubb in the next day. Uh, you know, there's really no urgency that night. Um, Y'all are going to have a delicious meal uh, in dock, oh, yeah. Tommy. So um, you'll probably. Oh, yeah. I, I, that. Yeah. I'd like to be off the ship. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. For so, however long we're going to be I here. don't know if we would dock in Bimini, though. I think we might anchor. No, That's what anchor. I meant. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, probably just anchor. So I'm, looking, the, I'm looking the... longingly at the, uh, the <laughs> land. <laughs> we, you know, but we we could have taken you in because I we probably would have. I don't know if we would have gotten fuel or picked up. No, anything, we wouldn't or at need least, fuel. No, um, well, and, and at the, yeah. he would have to go into the into the, in the dinghy. Dinghy. Right. Well, I mean, it's not really a dinghy. It's it, it. You know, it is effectively, but it's a it's a pretty big boat. Um, but he would have to get into it, which he's already said he he won't be getting into that thing. I'm also guessing that y'all's fear of getting him back into the boat may play into your decision on not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you sure. imagine? That's the scene I was picturing. <laughs> right. If I was on land <laughs> trying to get him back in the boat. Uh, maybe that'll happen somewhere well, down the line. Chubb is, um, like, that is a full marina, um, and that one we probably would stop and, and dock. That makes sense. Um, that sounds great. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, that's but about the halfway I, I would point. say make a uh, make a pow roll though for me, Tommy. This is gonna this is gonna go. This is where it's just gonna all go bad. <laughs> Forty seven. Um, how is my pow? I don't even have my uh, character open. Oh, I, yeah, I just made it. I have a uh, fifty. So, Perfect. Yep, so, I made so it. then let me let me set this scene for you. The end of the first day, y'all are anchored. You're having this wonderful kind of uh, seared tuna and maybe some uh, sashimi um, on the back of the boat. Uh, Amelia and Tommy, you're you're fo- both feeling heartened in in a somewhat surprised way. This day's gone really smooth. And um, here you are anchored and you're feeling some slight camaraderie, even though you spent your day kind of down um, down in the cabin studying and trying not to puke. Uh, certainly, Rufus, this is like. Your, the, oh, yeah. Um, it Really quickly, if you guys come up and come to the table, I've mixed drinks for you guys um, or I've got at least the stuff and I'm saying, you know, asking what I can make you and and. I've got everything I can make you, a vodka gimlet, a gin gimlet, a 
Tom Collins, you you let me know what you want. And and you sort of see that in the case, I pulled out a separate case and it's got like an entire sort of mixed drink kind of apparatus. So like a little mini bar. So whatever you guys want. Um, and I say, we're going to have the most remarkable trip. Uh, sorry, Rufus, I, I have to keep my wits about me. So Which, just a club soda. Uh, oh, OK, yes, thank you. That would be nice. <laughs> and so I get you get you a little and this uh, this uh, tuna is fantastic. It's, uh... I caught it. Did you hear the story? And if, before you answer, I regale you okay. with the whole <laughs> story. Do you like amp it up a bit to uh... every, every time? It's yeah. a 50 pound fish. I just have never imagined I would catch something quite so large, and its sword almost stabbed oh. me. But I, what wonderful luck to have caught one so soon in the trip! I'm beginning to feel a lot more positive about this. I had, I had my doubts about. Uh, well, I had my doubts, but uh, yeah, you guys are uh, you guys are okay. Nice, and Doctor Amelia Palmer, what can I fix you? Well, that's a good question. Um, can you do an aviator? I would assume Scott doesn't think so. There's no way in the world of Rufus <laughs> would say no. So, <laughs> sure, I'd love to make you it. an aviator. I was just thinking of, I know there's gin in it. <laughs> throw it together. I don't know. So throw it's it together and, and hand you the aviator. And yep, oh, I wow. Say, oh, Dr. Amelia Palmer, this is going to be a remarkable trip. And I hope you find exactly what you're looking for. And, well, maybe, I hope I do too. Rufus. Maybe devil teach me to dive and I can help him down there. Yeah. And I think you would know how to, cause it is a classic cocktail. So um, it, it just has gin, maraschino liqueur, uh, uh, cream de violette and lemon juice. So it's a purplish drink. Fancy. Mm. Yeah. I... All right. And so I, you know, I, I think that some bonds form, it's going to be, a, you know, a pretty quick um, cruise tomorrow. So I think, you know, the captain would be able to say that and that'll, that'll put everybody at ease that um, though today's voyage was kind of long, tomorrow's will be much shorter. Yeah. And actually from here on, we're on the Bahama bank. Uh, so it's significantly shallower. Like you can see the, uh, the sand underneath the boat. Um, it's like, you know, anywhere from 20, 30 feet deep and the water is so clear that you can see the bottom, um, and it's calm. Even when it's windy, it, there's, there aren't uh, like seas on the bank generally. Um, mm. so it, it would Might be, be a, better it for would, Tommy. yeah, it would just be a lovely voyage. All right. Uh, so anything anybody wants to do tonight before y'all go to bed? Dev would definitely take a swim. Okay. Oh sure, I'll I'll join you. I'm I'm never not wearing my life jacket. <laughs> I'm going to sleep in my life jacket. <laughs> That's great. Oh, uh, such a great picture. The jean shorts yeah. and the life jacket. You're starting in the to old school seventies life yeah. jacket. Uh, the cap oh, cap yeah. captain would have a like a pipe, uh kind of smoking and having a drink sort of maybe on the on the on the stern uh hanging over it looking you know at the stars um yeah all right and then the the moon rises on our wonderful cast on a, a very calm beautiful warm summery night in the bahamas uh you all have a good night's sleep um you'll wake in the morning uh have a a quick cruise over to chubb and Chubb will be your final kind of um, filling up, uh, supplying up point. Um, so if there's anything else that you think of that you'll need at this point, this is where you would do it. I mean, I think we would top off on fuel. Yep, definitely. Any 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 small like fruits or veggies, you know, sort of like low key provisions. And then I would actually go inside to get sort of, you know, any local news of the area, anything we got to be sort of mindful of it. And just sort of that sort of what's the beat in the area, weather reports, something that maybe we don't have on hand, things that may have changed, updates, that sort of stuff. Weather's supposed to be beautiful. Uh, you have a you have a really nice clear forecast for the next week. Um, it's all subject to change based on arts rolls, but uh, for now it's a beautiful <laughs> forecast. And then just because and... of my history, also if there's any 
ships that have gone, you know, missing, disappeared, any, anybody, you know, to look out for while we're out in the water. Uh, you have um, uh, nothing recently. Um, there are some murmurings that they thought one ship had gone missing, but it seems that it had been uh, found recently. Um, but, you know, just the kind of common superstitions and uh, you, you see um, some of the boats heading out uh towards kind of Bermuda and in that direction uh they'll only leave at like very specific times of day um they they hang their ropes in a very particular way um it's just some of the kind of the old um superstitions about um not uh not disturbing kind of the waters and um and uh whatever ghosts might be at sea and certainly, like offending the la the lost captains is another big theme in these superstitions. So, got it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I make note of that and sort of mm, there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and after we top off, you know, pick up any news whether it take back onto the ship. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are occasional references uh, to the witchcraft, um, which would be the, the the boat that most recently went missing kind of mm -hmm. like five years ago. So, okay. all right. Um, Tommy, I think you would be heartened enough that there's no, I, I, you're not excited about going out, but you're at least comfortable with the prospect, right? You can see the sand underneath the water. You've made it, you know, you made it a good night. Um, yeah. Did we come to the, uh, island where we can disembark yeah this this yeah, is yeah. the one where, oh, where yeah. we'd be on and the dock i would have i would have disembarked spent a lot of time uh standing on the uh the beach uh looking out at the water and especially the ship kind of just okay there's the ship there's the water water smooth uh crystal clear okay okay I'm totally different than my experience on the lake where i grew up uh, where everything was just murky. So I'm like, okay, this is different. I can, I can handle this. And is there anything you, uh, you want to talk to Dr. Palmer about? Dr. Palmer? That's yeah. Me. Uh, Amelia. Sorry. You would oh, call Amelia. Her Amelia. Yeah, I have no to call her Amelia. Dr. Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Amelia, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I uh, didn't have any uh, didn't have any nightmares uh, last night. That's uh, that's really good. I've been uh, they've been coming back, especially getting ready for this trip. Uh, they came back in in force. I, I didn't think really? I'd be able to didn't think I'd be oh, able to go. I thought this was going to be a helpful thing for you. Well, I I, I think a present a birthday present. No, no, I think I, I think you're right that I need to face it. Uh, but uh yeah it's going to be harder than i thought since amelia might know what you're talking about but emily doesn't can you tell me what what i might know about your past that you're struggling with oh uh yeah oh my god yeah uh you would know the story so um i went out on the lake uh fishing with my dad uh the boat uh, tipped we both went in the water uh, my dad, I went under the water, like screamed, all the air went out of my lungs under the water. Uh, my dad tried to save me. Uh, he died, drowned and died in the process. And uh, I was able to grab onto, uh, we didn't have any life jackets because uh, uh, we just didn't on the lake back in those days. <laughs> there was like no safety concerns whatsoever. But I was able to grab onto something that floated. And I spent the entire night alone in that uh, dark water uh, before people uh, came and got me the next day. So that's the source of my uh, my dread of water. And I, I grew up on a uh, you know a village that was on the lake, so I was always around the water. I still mm -hmm. like the beach, but uh, the idea of being out on the water is uh, terrifying to me. But this is different. This is crystal clear water. Uh, it just feels different. On the lake, the wind could come and it'd be perfectly smooth one second. And then you could have 
three, four foot waves the next. Uh, okay. So it's a lot angrier. The water's a lot angrier. So yeah, I would have talked about that. Knowing too. what I know now, I would have asked, how does this feel for you in comparison to your usual, your last water experiences, the water you're familiar I'm, with? Uh, I'm, I'm actually feeling uh, better about it. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm still a little queasy, but I've never been on this kind of ship before. You know, me neither. My dad's boat was just, uh, you know, effectively just a, a aluminum boat with a with a, a motor on the back. This is this is totally different. But uh, that the the tuna helped a lot, believe it or not, putting keeping something in my stomach. So yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Yeah, seems like a nice enough boat. I know you probably weren't expecting a trip quite this long, but it just seems no, like an opportunity that, that I couldn't pass up. No, but. You know, if everyone else is down for it, then, well, there's nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> that is true. Except stay here. But I think we'll find something very exciting on the other end. Okay, you and your mysteries. I I look forward to finding out what this uh, is all about. It's related to my research. Okay. And that horrible conference that we that I had before I left. Oh, would I know about that? Probably. I don't know if you know the details, but I got ridiculed after one of my papers. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So I would have been there for you. I would have supported you, but I wouldn't know the nitty gritty details. Just the idea, you know, a bunch of assholes. They don't, uh, you know, they don't know good research when they see it. Because I had been working on this project that was very near and dear to my heart and being kind of secretive just so that I could have the grand reveal. And the mm. reveal was at the conference. And it was horrible. And now I'm not really talking about it anymore until oh. until I figure some things out, which is why we're okay. on this boat. Okay. All right. And I'm imagining kind of these nice cut scenes of uh, Tommy trying flashbacks to survive. To... Yeah, the flashbacks kind of while you're on the beach. I just realized this whole trip's like one big sand roll for you, Tommy. Like, I, it's no. just like... I don't even know when to like ask for it because it, it's just the whole thing's a big trigger. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the, the the birds kind of fly over, but you know, I think you've got like hope in your hearts. There's uh, there's a lot of excitement about the possibilities on the horizon. Um, feeling a little bit more faith in Dev and the captain, and uh, even a little bit of curiosity about uh, the the shipmate or the uh the odd passenger rufus um and so i think you get one more good night sleep in at the docks is there anything anybody else wants to do in uh in chub no i mean no. Ruf, when when we go i'm a, and art you tell me if this would match but like are there like touristy things around like not re at least not when i was there um okay. it's very much just sort of a um you know a, it's a a small, very small port, um, you know, a f handful of docks uh, that you can pay for overnight. There's a marina with um, with gas. For the sake of this, the, there would be like a, you know, sort of a supply store, maybe a bar. Um, yeah, any chance they'd have like woven <laughs> hats or just like something goofy like that? I, I, I mean, I, I'd leave it to Michael, but I, I would yeah, say sure. That seems yeah. It's not imp okay. Yeah. So I, I I'll buy like one for everyone, including the captain, <laughs> and I bring him and I'm giving him out and I'm like I'm like we're we're bonded now forever. Um, okay. wait a minute, hang on. I want to these. Uh, you buy these hats from essentially. I think of it like a, a pop up vendor or like out of the back of somebody's car. Um and uh. <laughs> So it's a drug. It's a drug deal, really. This no, is no, what no. Rufus like is doing, like, like you know, like somebody like pull pull up on the side of the road. Like you'd have a fruit stand out of the back of a truck or something yeah, like that. You. But like, like, like a little and, table set up. Yeah, and and it's it's an odd set of parcels that uh, seem to be there. There's no good theme to any of it. Um, th there's just a whole bunch of mixed products that looks like maybe um people's luggage got 
like it fell out of people's <laughs> luggage or it got left <laughs> behind. It's a it's a weird assortment in that nature. So that there's um you know there's like a really worn baseball cap and then there's Is there like, any chance of filleting knife in there? Uh actually yeah that would fit perfectly. Sure, there's a filleting knife in there. Sure. So um, in addition to the hats I would get a filleting knife. Okay. And a whetstone it, if there is one. It's a it's a sheathed filleting knife, right? Like um yeah. and uh and and they they don't have a whetstone in with the mix, but um the guy selling it says, Hang on, I, I got one in the front of the truck, I'll sell you. And um he, he gets you it's a it's a well, well used whetstone. Sure. Um but he makes And I'm guessing like 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 so in the seventies, all this would come to like four dollars, right? Six four four or five. I give him ten dollars and I'm like, keep it. This is remarkable. This what a beautiful island. And you've given us things to bond over and this knife and the whetstone. Do you I'll remember you for the rest of my life? And, and he just kind of shakes his head, folds up the ten dollar bill, and puts it in his shirt pocket, like no kind of major reaction to you. Um and um and there's nothing like don't get me wrong, there's nothing uh in fact make a well, I don't know that you would even care. So maybe it doesn't matter. But I um yeah, I'll just leave it open like that. Sure. Um and so uh you have a big goofy hat. Describe your big goofy hat that you buy. Yeah, so I would I sort of picture it as like a Robinson Caruso hat. So, you know, a little bit shapeless, definitely just meant to shield from the sun, you know, sides and then sort of a a, a bit peaked and it you know it it i i again i've got hopefully one for everyone and as soon as i get it i plop it on my head and then i attach my knife to my my side and i just am like the cock of the walk i just am so enamored with with the fact that i now feel like i maybe even look a little bit more rugged and like i'm ready to be sort of out in the world Perfect. And then if everybody's good with that, I think what we'll do is we'll cut to the next morning with uh, the boat uh, well on the open water, headed east from Chubb, straight out into the open water. Uh, Rufus on the on the front of the boat um, with his hands on his hips, his his hat flapping in the wind with his knife uh, strapped to his belt um and probably i'm guessing amelia you'll be below deck or are you going to be observing where you're headed I'm at muted this point? again yeah okay so now that we're in the final stretch i will be up on the deck but if there's some sort of a table or a surface even like a barrel or something i will put out some papers and books there and just find any loose tools or things that i can put on my I was about to say because so it'll be they'll, be they'll be they'll be like flapping in yeah. the in the wind yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um okay, but so you'll be you'll be trying to map that. Um Tommy, are you below deck still? Uh nope. If Amelia's up on decks, then I'm going to uh, uh be topside as well. But I'll be sitting down Cinching. with my back against something solid. Okay. Yeah. Cinching your your yeah. life jacket. And yep. then uh, we'll that'll leave uh, Dev. You'll probably be running around, tightening things up, and Captain, yep. you'll be absolutely uh, manning manning the wheel. Yep. And yep. I would be putting out fishing lines again once once we're rolling because this is right. where where the mahi will be. Okay. And y'all are full on underway into next week where we will uh, pick up. Wow! Amazing. This is fun. Hmm. Whoa! What was that? I started in the wrong place. How about we do this? All right. That is going to do it for us tonight. Thank you for joining us. I am not prepared to close. Um, until next time, you can find us at underthelibrary.com. You can find me on Post News. I am at Arthur over there. You can find Michael on Twitter at Under the LIB or on Post News. And am I right? That's Under the Library. Yeah, I got to get that set up, but yep. Okay. Um, technically, he's there. Give him a follow. Um, and until next time, where we will be 
underway, headed for our mystery location in the Bahamas. For me, for Michael, for Emily, for Rick, for Chris, and for Scott. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>